To save your search history, you will need to have an account. To create an account, click on Sign In at the top of the screen near the center. From here, select Sign Up below Welcome Back. Once you finish filling in the form, you can click on Create Account here at the bottom. This will automatically log you into your new account. After you've signed in, you can access your saved documents and search queries by selecting Folder. This reveals all of the folders here on the left side of the screen. To save a search, select Save Search slash Alert. You can name your search, add a description, and select Save. Choose the name wisely, especially if you have or will have many other saved searches on the same topic. It's very important to identify the database you searched in and consider including a date or project identifier to help you keep your saved searches organized. You'll then be brought to the page with your saved searches, or you can view them by selecting Folder again. Returning to the results page, you can save a specific article by selecting the folder icon next to it and adding it to a folder. If you don't have a folder ready with your saved search query, you can add them to My Folder to organize later. The items you have saved in this session will appear on the right side of the screen, where you can remove them from the folder by selecting the X next to the item or you can enter the folder by selecting Folder View. These will become available under Folders and Articles. To export all of the results in your search, select Share above the results, followed by Email a link to download exported results. This will open an Export Manager where you can enter your own email address or the address of someone you'd like to send the results to. Make sure you change the format to RIS the results will then be emailed to you to be downloaded and imported into your citation management tool of choice.